What's the latest development in the Middle East? A dramatic event unfolded as Iranian armed forces seized a Portugal-flagged container ship near the Strait of Hormuz. This isn't an everyday occurrence and it's certainly not a simple maritime issue. Let's unweave this complex geopolitical tapestry. The ship in question, MSC Ares, is associated with Zodiac Maritime, a company owned by Israeli billionaire Ayel Ofer. On its way from the United Arab Emirates to India, the vessel was commandeered by none other than the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps or IRGC. The operation was far from subtle. IRGC forces rappelled down from a Soviet-designed Mil Mi-17 helicopter, taking control of the ship and directing it towards Iranian territorial waters. This incident was reported by the UK Maritime Trade Operations, pinpointing the seizure some 50 nautical miles northeast of Fujaira, UAE. But why would Iran seize a ship linked to Israel? The answer lies in a recent attack on Iran's consulate in Syria, an attack attributed to Israel. In response to this, Iran's actions seem to be a calculated retaliation. This is not just an assumption. The US, anticipating potential Iranian backlash, is already increasing its military presence in the Middle East. Israeli officials didn't take this lying down, they condemned Iran's actions as a violation of international law and called for sanctions on Iran. US President Joe Biden chimed in, expressing expectation of Iranian retaliation and reiterating support for Israel. Israeli military officials are on high alert and prepared to respond to any Iranian aggression. This event is not isolated, it's a stitch in the intricate geopolitical fabric of the Middle East. The seizure of the ship could potentially escalate tensions, possibly leading to further military actions and political fallout. The world watches, waiting to see how this high-stakes maritime chess game unfolds. And as always, the ripple effects of such events are felt far beyond the immediate region. In the grand scheme of things, this event serves as a reminder of the delicate balance of power that exists in the Middle East, and the intricate, often volatile dance of diplomacy and military might that keeps this balance in check.